In this video, I am going to tell you about the closure property under addition and subtraction of integers. Okay. So first thing is, what does this closure property means? Two integers, let's say for two integers a and b, the closure property under addition and subtraction would mean what? It would mean when I add these two integers a and b, if a plus b is also an integer, right? We say that the integers are closed under addition, right? Similarly, for two integers a minus b, if a minus b is also an integer, we say that the integers are closed under subtraction. Think of it like this, you know, let's say this box is something which has various integers lying within them. Okay, a, b are also two of them, right? When we add a and b, if the result is again lying within the same box, we say that these integers are closed under addition. Whereas if the result lies outside the box, we say that they are not closed under addition. The similar rule applies for subtraction. If a minus b okay, is lying within this box, we say that the integers are closed under subtraction. But if it lies outside this box, the result is something which is not within this box, which is called the box of integers. We say that they are not closed under subtraction. So let's look at few examples. So let's say if a and b were 5 and 7 then 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 which is also an integer now how about if these were instead of 5 and 7 if these were minus 5 and minus 7 in that case we would have minus 5 plus minus 7 right when we add two integers of the same sign what do I get I get minus 5 minus 7 or simply minus 12 right which is also an integer how about this if I had minus 5 and I had plus 7 in that case I would have minus 5 plus plus 7 and I would get minus 5 plus 7 since the sign are different we will find out the difference of these two two and assign the sign of the larger one which is plus and 2 is also an integer so in all the three cases when both of them were positive when both of them were negative when one was positive and negative in all these three cases the result showed that the answer is also an integer so we say that for two integers a and b a plus b is also an integer and therefore the integers are closed under addition now let's look at subtraction if I had let's say 12 and 6 right so if I do 12 minus 6 what do I get I get 6 how about minus 12 minus 6 so I have minus 12 minus minus 6 I'm just simply taking two positive two negative okay and what do I get over here I get minus 12 plus 6 minus minus gives you plus right since the sign are different we just subtract the smaller one from the larger one 12 minus 6 gives you 6 and put the sign of the larger one which is minus 12 sign which is minus 6 now if I had minus 12 and plus 6 okay so what would I get I get minus 12 minus plus 6 right in this case again you have minus 12 minus 6 since the sign is the same, I just add on these two and put in a minus sign. Now in all these three cases, if you note, 6, minus 6 and minus 18, all the three are integers, right? So we say that the integers are closed under subtraction.